I just happened to read, uh, yes, probably yesterday, President Trump spoke at the Economics Club of New York. And you can see the language he uses, you know. And he says that, on the one hand, he says that there's a deal coming. Then he explains this is why a deal is going to come. He says China is having the worst year in more than half a century. Their supply chains are cracking very badly. And they are de dying to make a deal, Trump said. But we are the ones that are deciding whether or not we want to make a deal. Now, if you use this kind of language, which is clearly nasty and condescending, and you saw this in the speeches by Vice President Pence also, you get a real sense of the emotions also that are uh, driving it. And so if you want to understand what's happening, you cannot just focus on the technological war. You have to look at the big picture. But from the big picture, when you, drain, when you drill down to what's happening on the technological front, my key message to you is that, in the 10 minutes I have or so, is that the subjects are both politically and ethically very complex. And I say this because quite often what is portrayed is that this is a simple black and white contest between good and evil, right and wrong. And what I hope, what I'll try to bring out if I can, is the complexity of these things. And so I'll start obviously with the most obvious and biggest source of the technological dispute between United States and China, which is the actions that United States has taken against Huawei, right? It's China's biggest, uh, I mean, there were some actions taken against ZTE, but that's been resolved, but now we are under a big fight with Huawei.